First, I grabbed this drain pan from Dollar Tree and then grabbed two large flower pots also from Dollar Tree. So first, I'm just stacking both of the flower pots together, having both of the bottoms touching each other using this Dollar Tree adhesive glue. It's a great substitute for E6000 with a mixture of hot glue. And then I'm just placing those together. Now you want to make sure that these glues completely dry. I let mine dry overnight. So I did just put something heavy inside of the top flower pot. And again, let that completely dry overnight and then I added a little bit more hot glue around the outer edge where both of those flower pots meet as well just for some extra support. Once that was dry I then am grabbing the drain pan and I'm placing that on top of the two flower pots. Again, I'm going to be using that Dollar Tree adhesive glue with a mixture of hot glue and I'm just applying some around the brim of that top flower pot, and then just place that drain pan right on top. Again, I am letting my glues completely dry overnight, and I also put something, something heavy inside of the drain pan just to make sure that the glues dry nice and even. And then I also added some more hot glue around the brim as well just for that extra support. Now, once the glues are completely dry, now I'm using some spray paint. So I am using this Rust-Oleum spray paint. This is in the color Moss Green. I did pick this up from Home Depot. So this spray paint is actually really good coverage, but this did end up taking about two coats because you wanna do a light coat for the first coat, let that dry, and then go over it again with a second coat in another light coat just for better coverage. And then I also flipped it upside down to make sure I got the bottom covered as well. Let that completely dry, and guys, I love this color. It is so gorgeous. Now, I know spray paint could be handled outside, but I went over it with this clear glaze sealant as well this also creates a nice glossy look to it so i just sprayed this down generously i am going to allow this to completely dry for about three days and this is also going to help get rid of some of that spray paint smell to it now once that is dry i placed this outside i added some of these decorative rocks to it using two bags from Dollar Tree, add some water, and there you go, guys. Now you just created this DIY bird bath for super cheap, and it, it just came out so adorable. I hope this inspires you to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so much, and have a good day. Bye!